Welcome to this demo where we're gonna show how you can use Visma reporting analysis to follow up your project and do process improvement. Now I will just log into Visma reporting our web client. We also have a Windows client. In Visma reporting and analysis in the team itself, we are using two different dashboards. Uh, one of them is the burn on dashboard, um, which contains some parameters as you can see here. So it can be used by several different teams. Uh, you can um, search among other Visma products and run the same dashboard for them. But in this case, I will run it with our version 3.6 and Sprint 3. Um, this dashboard we have um, sitting in our um, development area up on a big screen so that it's visible for everyone all the time to give us kind of a status of our project and the KPIs that we are interested in. Um, if I take a short introduction here then, on the left hand side we have our burn on chart saying something about um, how development is going and whether we are lagging after or are before the time. This green line here is the ideal line based on what we thought when we started. Uh, this data is collected from Buxilla where we have our sprint backlog, the cases that we are working on. And here you can, for instance, uh, drill down on a given time. This is early in the sprint. Here we have our sprint backlog. Uh, and the cases that have the status new, they are going to be done in this sprint but haven't been started yet. The assigned have been started on and developed, resolved. is actually for to testing and closed is actually finished. In addition, we also have uh, how much was our original estimate in mandates, how much work have we done on it, and how much is remaining. And down here, we also have the total for this. I can drill up again, and for instance, go down on a later stage at the sprint, and you will see that the status has changed quite a bit. These are only one case is not started on. Quite a few are closed and verified. Some are still for testing and two are still in development. And you also see that uh, we now have worked quite a bit more and we have a lot less left. Uh, what I also can show is uh, that when, for instance, um, you want to add some information or you want to see more detailed information about the case, you can just click on the case and you get down to the Bixilla case that contains this, where you can see what the comments and you can also add additional comments or change any of the other status. And then we could go up again to the well on shot. In addition, um, the KPIs that we had in this sprint was uh, first of all, uh, this traffic lights that's giving the, the status on our last build. We are using continuous integration. So that means that each time a developer checks in or, or the build is run, and all our automatic tests are run on this build. Um, and gives us a, we have a quite high code coverage, so that gives us a very good indication on what this is, uh, on the quality. So, um, in addition, we also are tracking build time. 
In this case it was 56 minutes and here you see a trend line say about how 56 were compared to history. Uh, the reason why we are doing that is that our aim here is 10 minutes because then a developer can check in, go and have a coffee and then when he's back you know the status of the work that he have done. 56 minutes we still have a bit to go on but it was actually two hours when we started so it helps to have focus on it and yeah and we also have a success rate that's this traffic light uh, our goal here is about 80 percent as we actually reached uh, and this information comes from our build system so this information from Buxilla this is from our build system. And this part is our focus points. Uh, after each sprint we have run a meeting where we look at our processes and what we can improve. The points that we come up with that we think we can improve we put into a wiki page. Uh, and that is also taken out here and put up here on the dashboard. It helps a lot with attention and keeping attention on those cases. So this information is collected from wiki. So in this Dashboard, we pull information from three different sources and that have helped us tremendously with keeping focus on different stuff. Um, because what we see when you have to go on three different places to find the information, we don't do it that often. And um, yeah, so now it's much easier for people to follow. In addition, we also have uh, the Kanban chart for uh, that we use when we are in release sprints, as we call it, when we are only focusing on removing bugs and have no new development. Then we have four columns here with selected, that is the cases that is going into the sprint, assign this when it's on development, resolve this when it's to testing, um, or ready for testing, and testing is when it's for testing. Same thing here, you can click on the case and drill down. So you don't have to find a number here, go into Buxilla and look it up. You go directly to the case. And here you see the same K uh, KPIs. And we have the focus point for Sprint 4. In addition, uh, since this is Wisma reporting then, you have all the default functionality that we have. We can for instance run the dashboard in full screen. Uh, typically when we run it on TV or anything, we do it like this. Uh, we can subscribe to report, for instance if people are not able to see it or are traveling, you can send it, send it to yourself each Monday morning, for instance. Either as a PDF or an Excel file. You can... Um, set this as a dashboard, so that the first time you log in, uh, you get directly to this. You don't have to run the report or set any parameters. Or you can add it to my favorites and or set this as a default report. So that's how we are using it and how we use combine uh, information from different sources into one dashboard that helps us give an overview of the project. Thank you very much.